All right, we all know that these days, thanks to AI, testing your business idea has never been easier, right? There are tools that allow you to build fully functional websites and web apps by simply chatting with AI. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it using a brand new tool from Hostinger called Horizons. Now, you might be familiar with the concept. It's a web coding AI. You just chat with it, describe your idea, and it literally codes out a fully functional website or web app for you. Then with a single click, you can launch it live, no coding at all. In this video, we are going to battle test Horizons together i'll show you how it works in practice step by step so you're not left you know wondering if it's just a marketing hype or not you'll see how it builds how easy it is to refine to add user authentication connect payment methods etc and by the end you can decide for yourself whether this is better than the other tools you might know like lovable or bold new let's jump into horizon the interface is super straightforward basically just a text box where you can describe what you want plus a couple of extras like uploading reference images or even using voice input if you'd rather talk to it, right? But here's the important part. It's not about typing something vague like make me a website. The results get way better if you're specific. So, you know, it's almost like giving a designer a clear brief, right? So here's the prompt we are starting with. Build a professional membership website named Creator Lab for selling premium digital resources. Now let's break down what we are asking for section by section. Navigation bar, we want the Creator Lab logo on the left, a menu with home shop resources about and contact, and then a sign in button on the right. On mobile, that should collapse into a hamburger menu. Now, hero section, that's the first thing people see when they land on the site. And we are going with a split layout, left side headline saying welcome to creator lab a quick sub headline that explains we sell premium digital resources for creators and entrepreneurs and two buttons explore resources as the main action and learn more as secondary right side a placeholder for the hero image next up let's set up the features section we'll keep it simple with three benefit cards instant access customer get their files right after purchase secure and reliable to reassure people that their data and payments are safe lifetime access once they buy they always can log in and grab their content no expiration after that we'll move into the featured resources section and this will be a grid of six product cards, right? Three columns on desktop, stacked into one column on mobile for a clean browsing experience. And then the products we are listing here are social media template bundle, $29, complete SEO masterclass, email marketing toolkit, analytics dashboard templates, content calendar system, business growth bundle. Each card should have an image placeholder, the product title, price, a short description, and an add to cart button. For credibility, we'll follow that with a testimonials section. So three customer reviews, each with a five-star rating, a short quote, and the customer's name and an avatar image. Right before the footer, we'll add up a call to action section. The headline will be ready to level up your business with a big get started now button underneath. And finally, the footer. That's where we'll place copyright text, links to privacy policy terms and refund policy, plus social media icons and a support email. Outside of the homepage, we will also request two extra pages, about page, like a short mission statement and a team section, and contact page, a form with fields for name, email, subject, and message. That gives us a complete membership website that feels professional, covers all the basics, and is structured for a real business. That's the foundation, and from here we'll build out the rest of the pages step by step. See, I spent a lot of time for creating a big and comprehensive prompt, but that will give me more chances to get a better output, a well-structured website, etc. So let's hit the button and see what Horizons actually gives us. It's now processing the prompt and turning that plain English description into real website code. So HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all the stuff a browser needs to render the site. The nice part is we don't touch any of that directly. And here it is. Horizons finished generating our site. Let's take a look. The navigation bar looks exactly how we described with all the menu items in place. I'll open this in a new tab so it's um, easier to see. The hero section came out clean, two buttons on the left, a headline, a subheadline, and the placeholder image on the right. Scrolling down, there is the Y Creator Lab section with the benefit 
cards we set up. Then we hit the featured resources. All six products are here, each with titles, pricing, and add to cart buttons. Below that, the testimonial section looks polished too. Five-star ratings, customer quotes, and avatars. And finally, the footer has everything we asked for. Links, email, and social icons. So from just one prompt, Horizon built a professional-looking site. But here's the thing. At this stage, it, it's more of a brochure, right? Those add to cart buttons don't actually work yet. We still need like real functionality, a card, product management, and secure checkout. Now we could try prompting Horizon again, again, and again to build all of that from scratch, database, card, logic, payment processing. But the easier route is using one of the Horizon's pre-built integrations, okay? So there is an online store integration that basically handles the heavy lifting, product listings, card functionality, inventory tracking, and connecting with payment providers. So instead of reinventing everything, we are just plugging into something that's already tested and reliable. Back in Horizon, let's open the integrations menu. Here's the online store option and we'll click connect. Horizon starts generating the setup prompt and okay, looks like we hit a small error here. That happens sometimes. Um, just click try again and there it goes. Watch what's happening here. Horizon is wiring everything together in the background. So it's pulling in JavaScript, connecting the store logic and basically making the site functional. We don't need to touch any of that technical setup. It's handled for us. And now the store is live. So first step, let's add some real products. We'll click on products and Horizon asks us to name the store. Let's go with Creator Lab Store and continue. That takes us into the dashboard where all the management happens. To add a product, we'll hit add product, select digital product since we are dealing with templates and bundles, not physical shipping, and open the product form. The form has fields like um, title, subtitle, description, and image. Uh, we could fill everything in by hand, but here's a quicker way. We use AI, right? For the image, I'll grab something clean and professional just from Google search, say um, an SEO package graphic, save it, upload it, and Horizon instantly generates product copy for us. In this case, uh, it named it SEO Starter Kit, added a subtitle, unlock the full potential of your website with essential SEO tools, and even wrote a description. And honestly, it's solid marketing copy right out of the box. Uh, you can, of course, amend it, but in my case, I'll just save that and the product's ready. One note here, Horizon does add some placeholder products when you first set up the store. And since we are adding um, real items, it's worth deleting those demo ones so the inventory stays clean. I'll repeat this process a few times to add the rest of our products. And fast forward, we've got multiple products loaded into the inventory. Now I'll ask Horizon to display the actual products from my store instead of the placeholder products. It will update the site and once I refresh, there it is. The new products are live on the website automatically. And if we click add to cart, it works, right? And viewing the cards shows the items sitting there. Um, the all products page also lets us browse everything we've added. So far, we've got listings in place and a working card system, but there is one key piece missing, user accounts. So right now, anyone could buy products, but there is no login system, no way to track purchases and, you know, give customers a secure place to manage their profile. So at this point, we need to add secure sign-in and sign-up functionality. This part gets a little more technical, but Horizons keep it manageable. For authentication, that's the system that handles sign-ins and sign-ups, uh, we are using a database called Superbase. So when someone signs up, their email and password get stored safely in our database, and later when they log in, Superbase checks their details and confirms access. Normally, you'd need a backend developer to build all that, but here it's already built in. Hostinger, the platform powering Horizon, makes connecting Superbase pretty straightforward. In the integrations section, we can see Superbase listed, and we've already got one organization connected, but let's walk through the full setup so you can see the process. We'll create a new organization and authorize it. Now Superbase is linked to Horizon. Next, we need a project, basically a dedicated database for our project, for our creator lab. Click Create New Project and Superbase redirects us. 
We'll pick our organization and name the project Creator Lab Database. For the password, we'll let Superbase generate a secure one automatically. Important detail here, make sure to copy that password somewhere safe. You'll need it if you ever need direct access to the database later. For the region, Superbase auto selected South Asia since that's the closest to me right now. But if you are following along, choose the region nearest to your audience for better performance. Now we'll create the project. It takes a moment while Superbase sets up um, the infrastructure. And once that's done, we'll head back to Horizon. Refresh the organization list and there it is, our new project. Click connect and watch what happens. Horizon automatically sends the configuration it needs. And just like that, our website is now connected to the Superbase database. Here's the prompt we are giving Horizon. Sign up page available at slash sign up. Centered form with the heading join creator lab and a subheading create your account to access premium resources. The form has full name, email, password, confirm password, um, checkbox for agreeing to terms and privacy policy, a create account button that shows creating while it's processing, a link for already have an account, sign in, um, then functionality. When submitted, it creates a user in Superbase auth, redirects to the shop page on success and shows an error message if something fails. Sign in page available at slash login, centered form with heading welcome back. The form has email, password, remember me checkbox, a sign in button that shows signing in while loading and links for forgot password and don't have an account, sign up. Functionality, sign in with Superbase, redirect to shop on success and show invalid email or password if logging fails. Then navigation updates, uh, when logged out, it shows a sign in button. When logged in, it shows hi, name with the drop down for my purchases and account setting. Horizon processes the prompt and the authentication pages are now ready. Let's test it. We'll click sign in, but since we don't have an account yet, we'll go to sign up, entering name, email, password, and hitting create account. Horizon tells us a confirmation email has been sent. Checking the inbox. Yep, there it is from Superbase. Clicking the link and the page doesn't load. This is actually a common issue. So let's walk through why it happens. Right now we are viewing the site on Horizon's temporary domain, but in Superbase's settings, the redirect URL is still set to localhost, which is what you'd use for development on your own computer, not something public, right? So when we click the email link, Superbase tries to send us there and it breaks. The fix is simple. In Superbase, go to authentication, then URL configuration, replace localhost 3000 with our actual Horizon site URL and save changes. Since the first account attempt wasn't verified correctly, we'll also delete that user from Superbase under uh, users. And now let's try again. Back on the website, click sign up, fill in the info, hit create account, and another confirmation email arrives. This time clicking the link works and the account is successfully created and verified. Looking at the navigation now, we can see it says Hi Bogdan with the drop down menu, but if you click on my purchases or account settings, nothing happens yet. Those links aren't functional, right? So next we are going to add the my purchases and account settings features. Here's the prompt we are giving Horizons, my purchases page at slash my purchases. This should be a protected page only accessible when logged in. The page has a heading, my library and shows all products the user has purchased with the product image, name, purchase date and the green download button. If there are no purchases yet, it should display you haven't purchased anything yet and a browse products button. Then account settings page at slash account settings also protected. The page has a heading account settings with a form where the user can update their full name, see their email and change their password. The form is pre-filled with the user's info and has a save changes button. And navigation dropdown should now include links to my purchases and account settings, along with a sign out option. Both new pages must require login. Horizons builds this out and now let's test it. Opening the my purchases page, it is empty, um, which makes sense since no purchases have been made yet. Um, checking account settings, we can see the name um, pre-filled and the option to update our password. Let's go ahead and change the password to confirm it works. Okay. 
and it does everything is functioning as expected for payments we are going with stripe it's used by companies from small startups to amazon and google the most popular option the nice part is stripe handles all the heavy compliance and security requirements for us so we don't need to dive into the details of payment regulations back in horizons go to integrations then select online store then store manager and proceed to settings and then payments we will then select stripe and click connect then just log in to your stripe account and it will be connected all right now that everything's wired up let's make sure it actually works we'll jump over to the shop add a product to the cart and head to checkout here we just fill in a few basic details like name email and country and once that's done horizons automatically takes us to stripe's checkout page and this is the exact payment flow customers will use. You can enter your bank or card details to complete the purchase. And the best part is Stripe handles all of it. Okay. The payment flow, the security, compliance, everything's managed on their side. So we don't have to deal with storing or securing any sensitive data ourselves. All right. Now let's move on to publishing this site, our last step today. So we'll click publish. And Horizons gives us a temporary link right away. Perfect for quick testing, but for a proper launch, of course, we'll connect our own domain. So let's choose get a domain. I'll type in creator lab, click next, and you'll see the usual domain pricing, either monthly or yearly. But if you already have a domain, you can just connect it directly instead of buying a new one. And in this case, we'll connect our existing domain, membership.email. Um, the system handles all the DNS setup automatically, so there is no need to mess with any manual configuration. Within a few moments, it's verified and connected. And that's it. The site is now live on our domain. Customers can visit, browse products, create accounts, and make purchases. You'll also start getting confirmation emails for new signups and payments, and everything's fully synced and running smoothly. If you want to try this out yourself, I'll leave the link to Horizons in the video description. And I'd be curious to hear what kind of online business you'd build with setup like this. Templates, courses, coaching, something else. Drop it in the comments. If this walkthrough was useful, a like helps more people discover it. And subscribing will keep you in the loop for more tutorials on building things with AI tools without needing to write code. Thanks for sticking through the build with me today. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.